here back with our part two of our series on TMD. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to pull your data reports from RCOP. All right. So if you've ever used RCOP before, there is a, so much data that you can actually pull in RCOP. But to me as a maintenance manager, it is not at times user friendly. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into ASIPs. So just keep in mind, in order to do this, you will need an ASIPS account, and you're going to have to go to the App Warehouse and get the RCOP, all right? So once you click on the RCOP, this main screen will come up right here, right? So there is a lot you can do within RCOP. We're actually gonna do a series on all of RCOP, but for today, we're just gonna do TMD readiness metrics. You'll click on that, and it's gonna bring open the screen. So if you know a way around this, please let me know. But every time I I go in here, I'm not able to actually save the UIC. I, you have to physically put the UIC in all these tabs here in order for it to pull the data. So it's going to default to something. So when it defaults to something, just type in whatever it is. You'll unclick it, and then you're going to put in your UIC, right? So once you once you do that, then your master list is going to come up. So this is going to tell you everything that you currently have enrolled in TMD, right? And it's going to tell you your next calibration dates right here. And if there's a status, if you have something in shop or evac, it's going to tell you right here your status, ready for calibration, completed, awaiting pickup, right? So from there, you can go to the master list summary. From here is basically just going to tell you total line, CBU, CNR, okay, calibrated before use, total lines for training. If you have lines evac, it's going to let you know. And from here, it's going to give you your percentages, OK? So just keep that in mind. And then for the in-shop status report, it's going to tell you everything that's in-shop. So right now, we have one right here. It's evac to another TMD lab, and it's been in this status for 18 days, all right? Now, my favorite is the TMD summary report. You're able to pull most of your data right from here, especially if you're trying to build battalion and brigade slides, you can do it right from here. Uh, most of the time, like your, your labs will send out a in-shop delinquency report, but if they don't, you can pull the data right from here, and it's pretty accurate. So if you look at the master list summary, right, you go over to the left, you're going to look at 20% of our 24 lines that we have enrolled in TMD are in-shop. There's six work orders open, okay? And then our availability rate is 79%. So in the event that you want to look at what, what is evac, you can click it. You can view work orders. You can view the work order and it'll tell you what equipment is actually evac Come on. There you go. Having some mouse issues, but it's going to bring up the data for what it is by serial number, nomenclature, the last action, and if it was evac right? So pretty cool. And then, like I said, if you go back to the TMD summary, you can pull all your data from here. And what's nice is at the top here, it'll tell you 61 and 90 days due. So this is your projection, right? So within the next 90 days, you're going to have three items that are due for calibration. And this column is 90 days plus, so 17. So keep that in mind. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, there's a lot you can do in here. The only downfall to this is, like I said, every tab you go into, you have to load your UIC. Uh, unless, if you guys know a way to actually save your UICs and data here, please share in the comments down below. But I hope this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the rest of the videos that have been posted. And like always, hit that like and subscribe button and go Ordens.